Dyer, he has given that a 750 mm, which runs at 500 RPM speed, he has given n as 500 RPM. The angle of flap or angle of wrap theta is being given as 150. So immediately convert this parameter into radians just by dividing pi by 180. So what is the relevant radians? So it is 2.61 radians, 2.61 radians. Next, what else he has given? Um, the coefficient of friction between the belt and the pulley is 0.3, he says. So mu value was specified as 0.3. If the belt density is, so density is given 1000 kg per meter cube. And the stress in the belt is not to exceed. So that is the design value stress. That is 2.75 Newton per mm square. Find the power that can be transmitted with belt. Also find the initial tension in the belt. <clears throat> so the things to be found out is to find. Number one is the power that has to be found out. Second one is the initial tension T0. I will see you what is this initial tension is once that particular thing is approached. Okay. Now, so the power. So in order to calculate power, first we have to decide upon one condition. What is that condition? What is that condition? In order to calculate power, we have to decide one condition. What is that? So you have two different formulas. One one is simple. It is T1 minus of T2 into V. So this is the basic formula. And other formula which has the value B, T, V divided by 1000 and big formula. So you have to decide whether to take a simple formula or to take that big formula. On what basis you will decide? You will decide whether to consider the TC or not. So how will you decide? that you have to consider TC or not, first you will calculate the velocity. So the calculation of velocity forms the basic step for all the problems. So just calculate the velocity now. V is equals to pi into, since thickness is given, consider it, substitute the values and give me the value of uh, velocity. And in your Google Classroom, classwork uh, submission link will be generated immediately when the class is started. So within the class or 15 minutes after the class, you have to submit to that link. Okay. All the notes, what you have written in this particular class. He's given the value of 21.205. Is the value correct? 21.2. 21.2. 0, 0, 2, 2, 0, no? okay. 21.20. So since uh, this is greater than 10 meters per second, so you have to consider the centrifugal tension and take that particular formula. Since V is greater than 10 meters per second, centrifugal tension has to be considered. Take that formula from the equation number 14.5a, page number 291. Just substitute all the values. It is how much you have given? 21.20. 21.20. Substitute all the values there and give me the value of power.
Yes, what is the value of power? 1.5 into 10 to the power 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 1.5 I have just cancelled 9.81 guys. 9.81 if you multiply in the numerator and the denominator it is 9.81. So I have just cancelled that. 21.26 whole square divided by 10 to the power of 6. Close the bracket and open now. It is alpha e to the power of 0.3 into 6.2 mine for shit. Alpha e to the power of 0 0.3 into 2.62 minus 1 divided by alpha e to the power of 0 0.3 into 2.62. Ah, 19.88, 19.9. 19.9. So it is 19.9. So approximately, I can write this as 20 kilowatts. 20 kilowatts. And the answer is right. Now, this was the pretty old uh, thing which we have followed from last classes. We have already calculated the value of power many times. But now there is a new parameter which is known as initial tension. So what is this initial tension? Let me explain you first. Okay, there will be a belt which need to be wrapped onto the pulley, isn't it? So this belt need to be wrapped onto the pulley, correct? So before I wrap it, before I wrap this belt onto the pulley, what I will do is, for this belt, I would stretch a little bit more, correct? I would stretch a little bit more. Then what I will do is, after stretching bit, I will place it on the pulley and release these tensions, correct? This is the procedure what I follow to mount a belt onto a pulley, yes or no? Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Correct. So, whatever the tension, whatever the tension you have given to the belt while mounting, initially, that is known as the initial tension. Getting it? What do you mean by initial tension? Initial tension is that particular tension through which you apply a belt onto a pulley. You will stretch a little bit and then mount it on the pulley. No? That particular tension, initial one, is known as the initial tension. Clear? Any doubts in understanding what do you mean by initial tension? No, sir. Okay. So let us see how to calculate initial tension. Now, I want you all to refer your data handbooks and uh, uh, give me some of the details through which I can calculate my initial tension, which is the value of T naught. The value of T to the suffix naught is known as initial tension. Do I have any formula, any base, any data to which I can calculate the value of initial tension from the data handbooks? Please let me know. Yes, before you were at the handbooks, look for the 14.8. Yes, here it is. So you have a beautiful relation between the initial tension and the power tensions. Power tensions are nothing but T1 and T2. Tension on the tight side, tension on the slack side. So these are known as power tensions through which the power can be transmitted, isn't it? 
So initial tensions and the power tension relations is this. Take this up. Okay. So to find the initial tension, you have this particular formula. So I think uh, we require the values of T1 and T2, isn't it? We don't have the values of T1 and T2. We need to calculate the values of T1 and T2. Then we can calculate the value of initial tension. So for that, we have a little bit of formulas to be used. So you know that power is equal to T1 minus of T2 into V. You know the value of power. You have a next. You know the value of power. You know the value of velocity. Just substitute it. You will get an equation in terms of T1 minus of T2. What is this value? 19.05 into 10 to the power of 3. All divided by 19.97. So it is 953 something. 9, 953.93 newtons. So the ratio or uh, difference between the tension on the tight side and tension on the slack side, P1 minus of T2 is 953.93. 953.93. This thing. Then, so in order, to, you have this expression from the page number 290. Equation number, already you have used it. It is T1 minus of Tc divided by T2 minus of Tc is equal to e to the power of mu theta. From this, you have to calculate the value of Tc, isn't it? Ah, V is this one, no? This is the textbook value which I have used. Okay, fine. So it is 21.20. 21.20. Then what will be the value of that? 938 something. Okay. So it is 938.97 newtons. Now, Use this particular formulas. Before that, you have to use, you have to calculate the value of centrifugal tension. The centrifugal tension is given by W B T V squared divided by 10 to the power of 6 into G, which is given in equation number 14.3 E, page number 291. We already used these two equations. So first calculate the centrifugal tension. Substitute all the values. You know all the values there. Again, this one is 20.21 Allah. 21.2, so 21.2. Give me the value of uh, centrifugal tension. Give me the value of centrifugal tension. Yesterday, uh, when the class work was posted, day before yesterday, 12 people have not submitted the class work. Okay. Okay. 337.08. So, 337.08 Newtons. Okay. Now, from compare these two equations. T1 minus of Tc is equals to e to the power of mu theta into T2 minus of Tc. What you do is, from this particular equation, what you have here, okay, send T2 minus of Tc to the RHS if you come and if you come in this particular format. Okay. Now, substitute the value of mu, substitute the value of theta, substitute the values of Tc. Okay. Substitute the values of Tc. So again, from this expression, T1 minus of T2 is equals to 938.97. Now, from this, what it implies? It implies that T1 is equals to 938.97 plus T2. Okay? Transfer T1 to the either side. So substitute those two here. The value of T1, I have to change this 931. 
Okay, this is 293 LF 337. So this is 337.08. Now again, this one is 337. 337.08. Now, from this, you can easily get the value of T1 and T2. Can I get the value of? So since in this particular equation, only one unknown is there, T2. You can get the value of T2 from there. Then substitute in above equation to get the value of T1. Simple mathematics. So T2, 827, eh? so 827.65, and T1 is 1766.62. OK, is one there, na? OK, fine. Are there another 1, 1, 2, 3? What is that? A reason? Reason? T2, one, two, two. T2 I got wrong. Eh? Achha. So is this value is correct? One one two three. Yeah. One one two T to one one two three. But the T one is two. One one two three. Point. Just check the values. Uh, T one. T one is it correct? Plus uh, nine sixty two point six one. 962 na the correct 938 kana idu this is 938 938.97 t1 value check my wrong iratha 100% 2062 so now if you get the same value please raise your hand you know 2061 no problem, no problem. So if you get the same value, please raise your hands. Let me see. Okay. Fine. So once T1 and T2 is known, now you can calculate your initial tension. So from this, give me the value of initial tension. One five five seven. So 
that ends your problem. Clear? Any doubts in this particular problem? Good, good, good. Sumit, Nandan, Alphas, Ritwik, Abhirami, Anush. Okay, good. Enough. Shall we move on to the next problem? So copy this particular problem. We will start in another five minutes. Okay.
done copying the question uh, yes sir okay so again this is the same old problem but uh, only new thing in this particular problem is you might have to calculate the length of the belt that is the only new thing i found other than that everything is the same thing so i'll just write down the given data okay so the flat belt drive is required to transmit the power so power he has given clearly it is how much 20 kilowatt of power that need to be transmitted at a speed of so speed he has given it as 1400 uh, 40 rpm the driver and the driven shafts are approximately 3 meters apart so center distance he has given which is as 3 meters the dimensions of the pulley mounted on the driver and the driven shafts are 300 and 450 so what is this this is nothing but the capital d which is 450 mm and small d which is uh, how much small d is could be 300 mm next the weight density of the selected belt material is so look for the units it is newton per meter cube so directly he has given us the value of omega which is 9.7 cross 10 power 3 newton per meter cube and sigma d value he has specified as 2 newton per mm square nothing but mega pascal and the value of mv is 0.3 So determine what we need to find here. To find, okay. To find first one, a we need to find width. What is the width of the belt? Thickness is specified. F we are specified. So thickness is specified. Thickness is specified as how much? Six mm. Nidana ve pradana vo. Six mm. Next, uh, ah, second thing we have to calculate is the length of the belt. You have a separate formula for that. You can use that to calculate initial tension. Already we have calculated in the previous problem. The same thing you have to repeat here. Centrifugal tension T C you have to calculate anyhow. So these four things you have to calculate in this particular problem. So solution. So what is our first basic step? so he has given clearly to calculate the centrifugal tension so no, inevitably you have to understand that velocity could be greater than 10 meters per second that is the reason he has asked us to calculate the centrifugal tension so in order to calculate b you can um, first find the velocity velocity any how it would be greater than 10 meters per second but uh, preferably uh, for more security calculate the value of v and keep it and have you require it for the substitution in the expression no first calculate the velocity Twenty-three point zero seven. So next, since P is greater than ten meters per second, centrifugal tension is considered. So if centrifugal tension is considered, we have to use this particular formula. From the substitute everything, but the one value was missing here. That is the value of theta. So theta you can calculate by this particular expression. So either substitute. Remember, guys, either substitute the value of d, small d, and c. In meters, or is substituted in mm. So maintain a common units. That is enough. So substitute here. I have substituted in meters, and give me the value of theta in radians. So that is required in order to substitute here theta theta. So you have to substitute here. No, that is why theta is required. That is the only unknown there.
P is zero point zero six. Yes, it is six mm. Six mm and then six divided by thousand is the value. So then show. It is point zero six or point double zero six. Three point zero nine radians. Is written. Okay. Okay. Sudan Chu. I hope this. So in last problem, zero point zero six, right? Then it is a wrong, complete wrong. It, okay, it hardly makes any difference, man. Thickness value, no? It would be in points, no? Uh, that is why I keep on changing the values of the textbook. Hope you observed the last problem. Every value I was changing. Because that might be the reason. It hardly it did not make any difference. Anyhow, final answer, whatever we have got, it is right. Okay. So in the textbook value of T naught is how much you know? 1543. We have got as 1557. Okay. No issue. Okay. Substitute every parameters and substitute the value of B. So once you got the value of B, you have to standardize it from the table number 14.9, A page number 311. That is very much required. So in these types of problems, no, particularly this is not the design-oriented problems. These are general problems. Design-oriented problems you will encounter after two to three problems. Okay, there every value you need to standardize. Not only the value of B, every value you need to standardize. Okay. Then theta, everything. One six one point nine three. Now you standardize this value one six one point nine three from the table number fourteen point nine A page number three one one. All of you, I request every one of you to solve, okay, along with me. Don't just copy from the screen. That will never, ever help you. Okay, you have to solve. Looking into the data handbook. For reference, you can see the screen. Uh, if you have any doubt, you can look into that and pick the values. That's it. But majority of the times, look into the data handbook. Solve on your own, okay? Go for the table number 14.9, all of you. Page number 311. 
okay 180 mm good so everyone are agreeing on the same value i have to 160 or 180 160 definitely not it is 160 1.93 allah little bit higher so it is prefer that i go for 180 what do you say sri raksha hmm okay good 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 hmm. but this being calculated now we have to find l so all of you look into a data handbook and give me an expression through which i can calculate the value of l Fourteen point two B. Where is that expression? Fourteen point. Okay, two B. Whether to take fourteen point two B or whether to take fourteen point two C. On what basis that you have decided that you will go with fourteen point two B? Why not fourteen point two C? correct so you have two possibilities right either you can assume it as a open belt or you can assume it as a cross belt okay b is for open belt correct b is for open belt but how did you come to know it is an open belt any clue given in the question There is a concept here. Please try to understand. So two belts are there. One is open belt, and other one is the cross belt. All of you, please listen here. Okay, open belt in the sense there would be a pulley. Connection would be done like this. Correct. Cross belt in the sense there would be a pulley, and the connection would be made something like this. Correct. Am I right? So now, if I try to measure the angle of wrap, if I try to measure the angle of wrap for an open belt, can I say it would be less than one eighty degrees? Less than one eighty degrees. But same thing, if I measure the angle of wrap for a Cross belt drive. If I try to measure the angle of wrap for a cross belt drive, I can hundred percent say it would be greater than one eighty degrees. So from here to here, it is one eighty. All this is one eighty, right? Same thing here. It is one eighty. Am I right? For a cross belt drive, the angle of wrap would be greater than one eighty degrees. Yes or no? Is this concept correct? Make some sense? Yes or no, man? Did you yes. get this? Hmm? For an open belt drive, definitely theta would be less than one eighty. For a cross belt drive, we can. Visually understand it. Visually see it. Or uh, in the minimum amount of figures, what I have drawn, you can understand that in a cross belt drive, it would push the angle of wrap to a little bit more than one eighty. So it will start from here and it will end here. So it is definitely more than one eighty there. One eighty in the sense it is something like here, like this. Okay. So now, if in a position, if I know the value of theta. So if I know the value of theta, if it is less than one eighty, then I can come to a conclusion that it is open bell drive. Then I can pick this particular formula. If in case the value of theta is greater than one eighty, then I can come to a conclusion that is a cross bell drive. Then I can go with this particular equation. All I have to do is first get to know the value of theta. So all of you just take this. So already you know the value of theta in radians, which is how much? Three point zero nine radians. Convert it into degrees, multiplying by one eighty by pi. 
so you will get around 177.04 so it is less than 180 so if it is less than yes. one yes yes shall i pick this figure and paste there it would be helpful copy paste okay and this one Clear? Any doubts you Amir? You were uh, telling something? Amir? Uh, no, 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 sir. Not, nothing, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So since the value of uh, theta is less than 180, which is 177, so deciding or considering it as an open byte, open belt, take that particular formula there from the equation number 14.2b290, substitute everything and give me the value of length, guys. Yes, calculate the length and give me up. Seven point two two meter. Okay, seven point two meters. So remaining part of the problem where you must calculate the value of TC and you can have to calculate the, the value of initial tension. It is again the same thing what we have followed in the previous problem. So kindly take the screenshot and complete the problem. Take the screenshot. I give you five more seconds. Five four. Three, two, one, and this one to find the initial tensions. Good. Seven point one seven, na? Seven point two and the head of the meters. So check it, just take the screenshot of this. Same thing what you have followed in the previous problem. Same thing you can follow for this. And by the next class, you have to give me the value of the initial tension. In a part, then. Hmm. Sir, uh, the considering as open belt, the uh. screenshot or co better than the screenshot or co. Okay, done. So now, uh, so complete this problem. Hope you have taken the screenshot. If not, you take it now. I give you five more seconds. Okay. Okay. okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. C. Uh. C. 
same thing previous problem same thing okay now at the last you take the screenshot of this